Welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program. My name is Niels, and uh, this is a kind of a bonus episode. Uh, I wasn't expecting to uh, release an episode today, but I thought that, you know what? We left it at such a you know, unfortunate position that I couldn't leave you hanging at the position where the base just in shambles and everything is just running out of power. So I couldn't do that. So, um, I mean, not only for your sake, but also for my sake. And I guess we can also say name a more iconic duo than... Uh, me and uh, just having rolling brownouts in my base. Well, uh, power is it's uh, going from good to bad to n awful and uh, worse again. We also, so what are we going to do? What is the next thing that we want to do? If we have uh, already using too much power, well, the only reasonable thing is let's use some more power instead. What I'm doing here is we forgot to build the blue in the previous episode, so I just built it and set it up. This is not even worth mentioning. It is very small and very simple. But that's why it's not working here. This is stuck because there's no more blue signs back in the home base. So the plan for today is all about fixing the power. And uh, we are going to do that in uh, yeah, in, in a few steps. Let's have a look over here. Uh, let's look at these. Do we have any... Okay, we do have a bit of hydrogen. So what we can do is we can start by making some hydrogen here. Uh, some hydrogen fuel. That's what I want to burn. I know that there will be... Numerous people who go like, ah, oh, you should use fractionators and especially fractionators with stackers. I know we'll get there. But the thing is, if I want to use the deuterium fuel, then I need to have a constant production of carbon nanotube, which is a new new build of graphite, which is, means fire ice, which means gas, gas giant uh, exploitation, which is exactly what I want to do today. And then, so this is more things that have to be done just to get the, the fuel part here as well as also if you look at the fuel it's not exactly cheap because we've run out of iron and on the home front so these things have to be renewed as well so there's a lot of reasons why that's not a great idea the primary one is it's simply going to take too long time to get there and what i need to do is get some something working i have a little spot here and that will be a good position i hope for us to build a little uh, power plant. Oh, I don't like that color. Can we just that orange color? Can we just uh, ignore that for now? What we're going to do here is we are going to make some hydrogen fuel and that requires some well some hydrogen surprise surprise and it requires some titanium and here that's all good and I'll be making 2000 of that just a stockpile. Let's do it pretty damn simple here. I am going to take the hydrogen out uh, here. It can go over to that one. I will be taking the fuel back home. Well, I'll, I'll take that here. It's a very low quantity. There. And we will be making just a nice little... Oh, get that orange one out. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's six. And the reason why I choose six is because this takes six seconds build. Yes. So after six seconds, it consumes ten. That's good. And that will be our build size here. And I'll also build it on the other side. There. And that will consume 10. And what we then need as well is the output that will go on here. And while sort of preparing this episode, I realized how absolutely insanely good uh, proliferated power is. And we're going to take a look at how good it is. And I'll show you why it is so much better than it had to just seems like and of course we are going to get the proliferators in these locations and i will yeah we're gonna go on that one here here and yeah very simple and we are going to leech it from here why not oh up there sure that's a bit annoying that it does that kink isn't it possible just to do... Yeah, that's a much nicer. Okay, no kinks there. And on the other side as well, let's get one here. So, what did we do? We just did some more for consuming more power. And I will then get the inputs and outputs. This is out. We'll find a way in here. And it'll be titanium and hydrogen and titanium and hydrogen and hydrogen fuel on this side. And we just copy it out here. Tap three times and tap three times. We have the proliferation. I can now demand and demand. Oops, we need to do that. So we're going to get this and that will give us some fuel. That's great. 
Now when we have the fuel, let's have a look at uh, our options. Let's First of all, I want to show you how good it actually is. What? Oh, I don't have any of those. Let's uh, grab some power plants. Power plants, power plants, power plants. They are here. 200? Yeah, that's good. It's all good. And I'll take one. Now, this one is... If I take a stack here, it produces 2.16 and the yellow line goes all the way around. It's all good. We know that exactly how that works. Let's get uh, some of this one in here. Mm. Where's my, oh, there's my hydrogen and where is my titanium? Oh no, did we request so much titanium? That's definitely a mistake. The hydrogen, sure, but not the titanium. We don't want to have that much titanium. But anyway, now we have it. And we should be seeing this working. And as soon as we get the first ones out, they will take the first here. Uh, the first one that comes out as being proliferated. And, oh. Come on, pick it up. This is weird. Why are we we're not? Oh, they are in as part of this. They're just... Hmm. Here. They are here. That one now has one. Okay, that's exactly what I want to see. I want to see the one that has one. All right, so if I put this in here, we'll now see it produces 2.43. That means it's 10% or 12.5% more. And on top of that, you actually get extended time. So you both get more fuel power and you get fuel, more fuel output. That means it, square, it uh, scales quadratically. Is there anything we want more than things that square that scale quadratically? I don't know, but that is absolutely insanely awesome things that that uh, that scale quadratically. That is absolutely amazing. There we go. Uh, we want to make sure that we only have that. So if I now take this one in here, now what do we see here? We say 20% more power from each fuel cell, and it also gives us more longer duration. So this is good. That's what we're going to do. All right, so that means we now have some fuel. That should be good. We will stack that to 2,000. Then let's build some fuel power up here. Okay, that's... Um, hmm, where do we want it? Where do we want it? I think we want it... Maybe we can get it... This one that's really wide. We can take it over on here. This is actually... If we build it on this side, uh, hold on, I have to make sure that th there is a rule for this, and that is when looking north, you have to build it and then turn clockwise. So that means down here, I have to build it here and turn it that way. All right, so let's see, there, here we have a good big space for building. Let's uh, just find a random location that we can build that at. I think we'll build it here. Okay, so I am going to get a, here land please that's a good place to build it and from here i will go all we're gonna go is hydrogen fuel yes please here how much 1000 sure and i want to get it out on this line and out and we're counting on this being already proliferated because we don't want to be double proliferating these kind of things so we are going to Oh, not mini fusion. This part. Let's uh, build that. One, two, three, four, five. Seems really nice to be building five. And let's do a quick calculation here. The way that it works is this belt is at a speed of 12. So, and this one is uh, product uh, 54 megajoules. So if I take 54 megajoules times 12 per second, then and times 1.2, because that's the fuel output we get from this or the fuel value, that will give us a total of 777 megawatts that we can consume here. That's 288 of these fuel power plants. That's a bit more than we would like, but if we get all of these in here, then even with their 20% uh, productivity loss, uh, the efficiency is only 80%. Oh, I actually think I want to just request things in here. Yeah, I'll probably get some that that are not really... Yeah, and go. I kind of want a bit more. There, 2,000. All right, and... I wonder if I can do this part. Copy, and then take here out. Use now, and then stamp it. That's too close, right? Yeah, that's good. Good, 
That is everything. This is 20 now. And I have no idea how much it is. But we just keep stamping. Stamp, 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 stamp. We're going to need a lot of this. And then we'll come to another realization, which is what I absolutely love. Uh, this, but we re we are so... <laughs> so uh, drained for, res for fuel that we are... For power that we just need a gigantic build of this one. What we then need to do is make sure that we don't also discharge batteries at the same time. Okay, I need to move further. So it's spread out. And then I need to get a, some kind of sense of how big I've decided to build it by now. Yeah. I mean, if I build it 200, then that's that's also good. Yeah. And we can take one more. And then, you know what? One more. All right. So the best, the easiest way for me to figure out how many I have is just do a blueprint of all of it. And then that'll give us 100. Okay. Well, 100. Let's have a look at how much power that will give us. That's actually really neat. Just 100 flat out. Of course, it's because I picked up... No, I picked up 200, so I could actually double this. But what we're seeing now is this one is... Ah, the non-proliferated one. See, this bothers me. Like, I didn't proliferate this, but we should be getting things out that are proliferated. And if I do this one... Can I not just take these out? Why do they... Oh, they're just one? Hmm. This bothers me. This bothers me a lot, honestly. The fact that it it's mixed. But, you know. <sighs> that is a, annoying. What happens is because I had a stockpile of, of these before. And I just hope that it will be gradually be better. So we can see here there is now a balance between the ones with two and the ones with one. Eventually, I think we'll, uh, we'll be getting this. So the idea is now... Let me do the calculations. I will have 100 of these and they will each produce 2.592. That means I get 259 megawatt of power from this, which will help us quite significantly. We are now in a position where we are actually having enough power for the first time in a very, very long time. That's brilliant. However, there is a problem this part here because it discharges at the same speed. That's something we're kind of going to come back to. But what we've done here is we have now way 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 overused our uh, our available uh, available hydrogen because we are consuming 10 hydro 20 hydrogen per second but we are only producing i don't know this teeny tiny little uh, excess it i think each of these processes is about one every four seconds so one that's two per second so i'm producing two per second and i'm consuming 20 per second doesn't take a genius to figure out that that's not going to work so let's lean very, very heavily on our global hub. And what we have here, we have 42 of these. There we go. Large factory, a reach of total power generation of one gigawatt. Nice. So what we're going to do now is we are going to travel out here and into the void, into over to moon, our gas giant. And at the gas giant, we will be placing all 40 of these uh, here. They can uh, can place a maximum of 40 of these. Now, it is absolutely not necessary to put, put 40 of these down right now. I could put five of them and I'll be happy about it. But the thing is, I would then also forget to come back later on in late game and I would just wander and then I'd miss out on something. So I like this idea uh, that when you go to a gas giant and place it, you place all 40 at once because then you never have to come back. So let's do that and fly there and then uh, see what we can get. And we're coming in hot on this planet and landing. This is actually landing. Then we will press B to get the build menu up. And then we look at this part down here. Switch coordinates. Oh, no. Okay, yeah, let's just do that. Uh, then we need to find where the north or south is zero. So we move this way. Uh, that's not it. This way, yep. Now it goes lower, and then we need to find that one. That's the equator. And then we place them here. Place it. Go. Yes, there. All right, so with this one placed, we are now getting fire ice, and we are getting hydrogen. Those uh, are, yeah, things we have. Let's have a look at this location. This location is giving us actually more fire ice than hydrogen. That's pretty damn crazy. 
But it's just checking this up here. Yep. And we have, look at that. Our science is working again because we have started to produce blue science as well. What I need to do now is just roll around the entire way around the planet. I can put one here and then I can uh, get to the next and then we'll go all the way around all 40 of them. So here we are, we are waiting for the drones to come back and uh, we've just been sending them out for kind of impossible missions and we've also completely run out of resources. Let me actually do that because they were floating. So we should be uh, trying to do this one to do manual collecting of resources from a gas giant. Let's try that. And that should uh, just wait until we get all get 20 of those three. Boom, we have, uh, we, have <laughs> we have landed face first on a gas giant. I don't think that's healthy. We'll just wait to see if we can get the uh, achievement for the harvesting manually 20 of those. There we go, running on fumes. And let's start by uh, getting our power back online. So this is connect uh, 20 hydrogen with Icarus on a gas giant while energy is less than 5%. That is crazy. Crazy annoying because now we have to be on low, low power to get back. But hey, we got an achievement. And uh, in the meantime, we can see we have plenty of, uh, of uh, what is it called, the fire ice that we will get and plenty of hydrogen as well uh, that we will also get. So what I'm going to do now is I am, look at this glorious planet here, all the way around. We are going to go back to starving and then we are going to uh, do some work on the exchanges, which is kind of complicated. So I hope I can explain it properly. And we are back on this glorious planet. We have only a tiny bit of power, but that's okay because now we have plenty of power on this planet. That is wonderful. And look at that. Another research coming in. That just makes our fuel parts even better. Okay, we are back here and we have what we need. So what we want is this one. I don't want to have this. I want to request hydrogen there. And I want to request it remotely there. And... I want to make sure that it comes from orbital collectors. Yes. So it begs the question: Why are it? Why are they not coming in? Orbital collectors? Yes. They are. Hmm. Um. I'm. I'm getting confused here. I have ten of these. I have that. Is that because they're just not there yet? Hmm. I'm gonna be. Let's. Let's. Let's give that a moment. And maybe that's just the problem. I will be looking at science as well. We want universe exploration so we can see a bit further out into the world. And then let's also get the better here. And anything else? Nope. Uh, nope. And what about this? Is this is this is okay? What about you? Queuing? Oh, you're already queued, and you are a nope. And then we can look over by the technologies. We can do the wave function. We can do the quantum chips, and we can do up here for the quantum replicator. None of that. We can do this as well. Dyson sphere? Nope. All right, so that is what we can do. Our research has stalled. That's weird, but it has. And let me just cast a glance at this. All right, so it is coming in just because now it is 600. So it needs to go up to 600 to get somewhere. Right, and here comes the big challenge. That is explaining the idea of why my exchanges are not great or why the exchanges in this game are super complicated and what you can do to alleviate the problem they the inherent problem they have let's start by explaining it first of all i have a tutorial 
on exchanges specifically and uh, I will link it right now in uh, in the video and then you can uh, take a look at that in detail. We're going to build a new design that's even better than the one I have there but we are going to uh, just try to explain it first. So what are we looking at here? What does this mean? So the orange one here or the yellow one on the inside is the consumption. So you can see that we're consuming 340, 50 something. Yeah. And what we're also seeing is that they're currently discharging. There are eight of these and they're running at pretty close to 100%. That means that eight times 45, that is 360. Thank you very much for that science. Uh, that means we are basically matching the entire consumption here with the accumulated discharging. So you can see here, this goes up and down. When it goes above 360, then it also draws some power as well. However, what you're also seeing is that why are we discharging all of this space why are we discharging 360 when we only needed to discharge the difference between what we are producing 229 and what we are consuming 100 300 and let's call it 70 we only need to discharge the remaining but that doesn't work so we need to def def define design a method in which we can get this to only discharge how much we want first we're going to get some more of these discharges let me just hover over here and see if I can find it where they are. I will be building them somewhere. And they're on the inner ring. Where are they? You are hiding. There. Let's get some of these. Good. That's a good start. And I will also probably need some more splitters because they are always uh, really heavy on the splitters this part. There. And let's get a few more belts. There we go. And I will get, I have one of these. Okay, so let's build this a revised one. I can't take this out because if I take it out, the whole system comes crashing down. So let's not do that. What I want to do is I want to see here. This is a good place. And I'll, that goes to this here. This is a segment, a planetary sector. So there's a planetary sector here. There's a planetary sector on this side as well. And I think I want to make this one actually on the middle and then it spreads into two sectors on either side. That's the intention. Let's figure out where this is going to be. I think it'll be here. So what is this one going to do? This will be requesting and providing here and here. And we're not going to set it up yet because we're going to build it first. Now, here's the... Okay, okay. On this side, we will have... The discharging, uh, this is the discharging. Let's see what that is. So we are going to take full powered out here. And that's the full one. And that will go, let's go to that location. This will be going into discharge at these locations here. I'm going to build it at a certain size. That size will be 12 of these. It fits quite nicely within the framework of a planetary sector and it also allows us 540 megawatts of charging and discharging. Now, this is always a bit tricky to place in here because they are they are kind of insistent on the getting, okay. And it goes in here and then I'll wrap it out and around and go into that one and go back and go back let's get this one done you are going in here that's always tricky and to the side to the side so what what we're basically what you're seeing now is not really different from what we built before it's just different and in a different shape but and a bit bigger but aside from this it doesn't do anything magical the magic comes a bit later so you're gonna stick around until we get to the magical part. And of course, the blueprint will, as always, be available on my uh, website. So there's a link in the description below with all that. So now what I've done is I have taken full going into all of these and it is should be happy there. They will all be discharging, but they also need to get all of the junk out. I mean, all of the empty ones and we can then lead them through here. Then I'm going to lead them through this location. That is a setup for this one here. I will set up and this is going to be leading the full ones through and the empty ones will go the other way. 
Because here again, it's all about the symmetry. And that will go return. I will get all of connect, empty ones, empty ones, and sneak in here and merge on that line. Sneak in there and there and sneak onto this line. And the last one will go from here to here, here and then go out and sneak onto this line. So what that means is now we have basically said full ones go in, get spread to all of these and empty goes back. Hmm. Well, that doesn't do much, does it? What if we then do on the other side, we build somewhat the same as this, but in this case, we are charging them. So let me just build exactly the same here, kind of, and then we'll uh, we'll explain the difference in this. So now we've rebuilt it, and uh, I realized that I probably could have just copied it, rotated it, and then uh, made a few copy-paste changes, but that's beside the point. So what is the point of this? If I just take, if I do something like this, from here to here, that just means everything that gets discharged sends out empty ones and then they go back in here and get recharged. Hmm, that doesn't seem like a good idea, does it? Well, there is a trick to this and uh, there are two ways to approach this. You can either try to understand it or you can just go shrug and then copy paste the blueprint and then just go like, well, if it works, it works. Here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say you will primarily send them onwards and only when you cannot send them in to be recharged then you will send them in here to be sent to the lava planet to be refueled similarly on this side there is another exploration here let's get all of these inbound here in this case i'm going to prioritize the ones that were recharged here on this planet and they will go in to be discharged again only supplementing with additional additional new fresh ones coming from the lava planet if it's already full if or if this cannot keep up now what would that make any difference well that's kind of hard to say why that would make a difference but the, it works in the way that they only charge up to the amount the available power they're not going to be using discharge power to charge so by discharging they will discharge fully but they will only recharge as much as there is power not coming from discharge and when you add those two together you will have a net discharge rate corresponding to the deficit of power needed between the what is produced from other sources and what is demanded it's weird but it works let's give it a shot let's take these out uh, this will be demand from other places uh, we're going to do this it's probably not going to get get in anything but we'll uh, we'll just have to wait and also steal something from here let's steal all of that oops that's that's dangerous and i need to go to map view otherwise they will try placing it there there let's monitor what's going on it goes in here <clears throat> and it starts discharging discharging i will also immediately have this one go stop and this one i will uh, i will actually get it i'll try to place it on on this belt here so that we start recharging as much as possible just get kind of kick start it next here that goes in and next one I also think, by the way, this one should be set down to 50% because then it will bring it in with when it has 300. And I will be getting more. This one also discharge as much as possible. And it will take some time for it to stabilize, which is fine. It, I don't mind that it takes a while to stabilize as long as it does stabilize and it will. And that is all of it. I don't think I have any more. Good. All right, so what is happening now? Let's have a look at it. Mass construction five. Great, that was blueprinting. If we look at this, this is discharging at the absolute maximum rate for all of them. That means we are potentially discharging 540 megawatt of power. How much are we recharging? Also maximum. Also maximum? Really? That means we are currently consuming. Ah, right. The problem here is that it's... 
I need to shut down the other one. So then we need the other one to shut down, otherwise it doesn't work. Let me just shut that one down. And then we will see that it works. And there we go. This has now shut down. So that means we can now take all of this out. And let's see. It's probably easier to do this. And we'll just make sure this one gets powered again. Anything in here, we'll take it out. Take that out, take that out. We're not going to be deconstructing this one just yet. So at this point, now we should be able to see that this is working. And it's such a beautiful build. It's within planetary sectors. It's symmetrical. It's beautiful. It's got everything we'd want, want it to have. Uh, I will also instead put try to put them in here. Oh, that's that was just idiotic. Luckily, that doesn't matter because it actually self-corrects. Wow, that was uh, that was lucky <laughs> that it it, it actually self-corrects. That's nice because if any empty ones will just pass through, they will not get stuck. They will just pass through. So we're going to be placing this one again here and go 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 go. See now we're seeing here that it goes in here because it is completely full. What if we take this? These ones are full. All right, so now we, when we reach a steady state, they wanted to reach a steady state here. This one is full, and then we see that some of them are going up. We are also seeing over here that we are not getting enough. When we get the 600 in, or however much it is coming in, we will see that there will be a line filling up here and in there. In the meantime, let's have a look at the overall situation. Fingers crossed that it does exactly what I wanted to do. Here we are discharging at uh, you no, know, we're charging at 33 because I should look at the discharging first. Discharging is always going to be one, all of it, if if at all possible. So they will always discharge. They will discharge here at 540 per megawatt. That's the uh, char discharge rate, and they will only be dis recharging with whatever is available, which corresponds to the def the difference between our generation, and then uh, <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> So they'll be using this part and then the idea here is that you can see now the accumulated discharge is exactly the difference between our generation this is the hydrogen fuel that we built earlier as well as the consumption demand right here right that means this self-balancing exchanger is working up to 540 megawatt and up to that we can it'll it'll just only discharge the uh, the discrepancy i'd really like to see one of these coming in so that we can see this uh, this going in and we have it in a stable situation but it does uh, it does look really really nice let's wait until this one comes in so we can see that that state here it comes and is landing and it leaves out all of these and they will now go in and fill up the belt here so that we now have a fully saturated belt i hope and it should get stuck getting stuck and up oh, landing there so this is exactly what we want to see yes the wave interference thank you very much for that one as well uh, we are seeing that this is moving slowly because it only moves at the rate that is the difference between this consumption and what is being uh, re recharged over here i absolutely love this design this is one of the designs i, I built for my first series and it means that exchanges when you use this design exchanges are tremendously useful because they otherwise if you use them just as is then they only work up to uh, if you if that's the only resource or only power you have on the planet and that's almost never the case so this case step this down and uh, on any planet you get up to 540 megawatts of power or if you want to go crazy then you can also just uh, extend this out just basically make it all the way out here you can get it bigger maybe need a bit bigger belts and a bit have faster supply what you need to make sure of it though is that you have somewhere that you are charging at the same rate that the maximum discharge rate otherwise you uh, you will actually end up in a end up in a problematic situation so there we have it what we've done now is we have solved our power production uh, situation and we've restarted our science we're almost through all of the science the purple signs so that's uh, that one and then what we can do from here is start working toward the green science which is a massive undertaking but the first thing is working towards the warp technology but there's an achievement we must get before getting the warp and that's getting to another planet so that's now it's working towards the warp technology and with the green science as well and this nice little 100 megawatt uh, oh 100 
fuel power plant and it's easy to copy we can actually just copy it and paste it down uh, below or actually paste it over here if we want to then we get twice as much and it's only burning the hydrogen coming from the gas giant so that is very nice i hope that you uh, like this design and also hopefully you understood this uh, weird exchanger balancer so we um we have moved a bit further ahead and now we are in a stable situation again we got science we got power we're good to go next step is teching up so thank you very much everyone for watching for following along and uh, with all your wonderful comments in here and also the participation in the twitch chat when i'm streaming i'll just remind you of that that's monday wednesday and fridays at 8 p.m central european time and the address is twitch tv slash also link in the description below thank you for watching i'll see you guys next time take care and as always Stay effective.